Hey everybody, Ann here, and oh man, I woke up in the middle of the night last night and I really, really wanted those eggs. Mm. Eggs. But I gotta go to work today and I have to be there by 11, so that's, I don't think that's gonna be a full 24 hours that they've been in the brine, but oh man, I'm hungry and I want one super bad, so I don't know. I think I'll just sit here on my wonderful porch, drink my coffee, and watch a few YouTube videos and maybe, maybe I'll just try one before I leave. It hasn't been a full 24 hours yet, but those eggs are calling to me. So I'm going to go ahead and get one out now. All right. I see one in there that looks a little bit cracked. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. All right. Let's give this a try. Here it is, guys. It's a gorgeous color. So, let me take a taste. Mm. They're good. Definitely good. Can you see that? The brine has infused into the egg and mm. These are dang good eggs. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. They're very good. And the flavor is only going to get more intense as time goes by. I got about 20 more eggs, 21 or so. So you can be assured that I'm going to be definitely eating these. Um, I can't wait. I'm going to have another one when I come home tonight after I get done working. And see if the flavor has intensified any. And, uh, well, I think that this whole egg thing has been a success. Yay! So I'm just going to sit here on my porch, finish my coffee, and get ready for work. i got to wash my hair, take a bath. And I know a few of you may be wondering how I do that without any plumbing <laughs> and without a shower installed. Well, um, that's going to change before too long. So I'm going to do a little shower build. Hopefully it'll work. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Uh, I need to have my ceiling on for it to be able to work because I need to attach something to the ceiling. Um, so the full build might have to wait. But for now, all I do is I get a tub and it's, um, I don't know how many gallons it is. It's not that big. It's the same tub, if any of you remember, that I used for my mini washing machine. Um, there's a video on it on my DIY playlist. So I use the white tub and it doesn't have any holes in it, of course. And I have a shower sprayer. I think it's, I think it's a one gallon shower sprayer. And I never use a whole gallon to wash my hair. But I'll be taking a full bath today. And I basically just wet my hair down with it. Um, you know, lather up and rinse with it. Uh, so far, I have just been using cold water. I may use some warm water. I may heat some warm water up today. I've got some propane, some extra propane, not extra, I mean it's, I've got additional propane that I can use, so I've got enough. Um, and I may go ahead and just heat up some water and live in luxury and have a nice warm shower slash, you know, bed bath sort of a thing. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to go to work, do door dashing. I'm not going to take you along with me as I door dash because that can get pretty boring. But I will tell you that I discovered how the scheduling situation works. For you to be able to see the schedule, you have to have a customer rating of at least 4.5. And in that section, I'm golden. In fact, all of my ratings are pretty high. I was worried because my acceptance rate had dropped to 82% because I had declined several orders because they kept firing, it, firing them at me too fast. But that doesn't affect it affected at all. You have to have a customer rating of at least 4.5. Also, the schedule runs from Friday, like at midnight I think, to the following Thursday at 11.59 p.m. So, you have to have had made five deliveries the week prior between that time to be able to start seeing the, the schedule again, which turns over on Friday. I know that's confusing, but um, I, I learned this because I had taken a week off and, you know, dealing with the gravel situation and whatnot, and um, I didn't work that whole week. So come Friday, I couldn't see the schedule. I couldn't schedule myself anymore. 
So um, once I was finally able to see the schedule and get on the schedule, um, I worked enough hours so that when the, when the schedule rolled over Friday of that week, I was able to see the schedule for the following week. And the schedule is always five days out. So I don't know if that confuses you. I think if you're a dasher, you'll probably understand. But just know that um, you know your customer rating has to be 4.5, and you have to have made at least five deliveries in the the prior week before Thursday to be able to see the schedule when it's restarted on Friday um, and you can usually see that people who can see the schedule early can see it at 3 p.m. every day um, those who are don't have early access won't be able to say it, see the schedule until 12 a.m. every night so I don't know if that makes sense um, if any of you are curious just put a question um, and leave me your email address in the comments below and I will send you a copy of the email that I got that fully details it out. Also, you get additional perks if you've made over 500 lifetime deliveries and um, if that is so then they kind of waive part of the requirements. You have to still have a 4.5 customer rating but I don't think they require the, the um, you know, the work requirements of five deliveries in the prior week. So, you know what, I'm going to cut this video here. I'm going to get to work today, hopefully earn lots of money. It's going to be a good day, I have a feeling. Um, still sorting out what's going to happen with the insulation. Thank you for those of you who have let me left me comments or sent me emails on advice on how to do this job. Um, I've been told that I can take the insulation and hopefully salvage what's on the ceiling and put it in the walls. It's going to fit the walls just fine. I've also learned that you don't staple the um, actual insulation to anything. You staple the like the, the, the paper part or whatever to the studs. So, um, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do the ceiling myself. I can do the walls but not the ceiling because I'm going to have to have somebody help me lift that drywall up and possibly three people um, to get that job done. So that's all in the future. Um, we're going to be able to salvage this insulation situation um, and uh, I think I'm just going to start by taking down the insulation that's on the ceiling and hopefully not damage it too badly. Put it in the walls. Use all the insulation that I have right now. Basically and just put it in the walls and I may even try and get the the drywall that I have up on the walls and then do the ceiling later I haven't decided yet so I've been watching lots of YouTube videos and I've been reading a lot and all of your comments have helped tremendously so we're gonna get this sorted out so anyhow uh, that's all I got for you guys today I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one